Investing for retirement is something everyone agrees is important, yet there are so many unknowns. Most people wonder why those who start early seemingly have an unfair advantage over those who start late. If you save early and often and invest the dollars you save, you can gain an invaluable friendship, that being compound interest. Essentially, compound interest is the interest you earn on the interest over time. If you save $100 and it earns 5%, you'll have $105 a year from now. After the second year, you gain $5 plus an additional 25 cents, which comes from a 5% return on the $5 of interest you earned last year. This may seem minuscule, but over time it becomes an unstoppable force. The earlier you start, the sooner you gain this friend. Here, we have two individuals, Chloe and Lila. It has just snowed and they want to create the biggest snowball. Chloe gets to work right away. She makes her first ball with her hands and then starts to roll it around the yard. She does not have to push hard, just at a constant walking pace. Lila decides that before she starts making her snowball, she's going to relax. Soon, Lila realizes she better start on her snowball as Chloe's has already doubled in size. Instead of walking, Lila figures she now must run to catch up to Chloe. As the day goes on, it seems that no matter how fast Lila pushes, Chloe's snowball continues to stay bigger. What is being illustrated is the power of compounding, and for us specifically, the power of compounding interest. Instead of a snowball, think of retirement savings. If Chloe starts early, say age 25, and saves 15% of her income, she can proverbially walk to retirement. Since Lila waited and started at age 35, she has to run to retirement. As you see in the graph, Chloe has roughly twice as much as Lila does at retirement even though Lila has been investing the same as Chloe for the last 30 years. By missing out on the first 10 years, Lila did not allow as much time for her investments to grow. In the second chart, Lila again starts later, but now she is saving 30% of her income. Even by doubling what Chloe is saving, Lila still ends up with less than Chloe at retirement. As with many things in life, time cannot be bought, and with the power of compound interest, this still rings true.